Oh, I don't know how much news this is, but I thought it might be a bit fun. So a travel company known as Explore Worldwide analyzed some Google search trends from more than 180 countries to see which animals people want to see the most. Mm. So I was wondering if you can guess any of the animals that made the top 10 list. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? Yeah, don't spew out a load of them though, because I'm going to tell you if they are. And then I want to ask if you can guess where. Can't I spew some out? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> okay, elephant. Don't be spewing. Yes. Can you guess where elephant is on the list of top 10? Three. No. Can't I just like guess a bunch and then like rank them after? And guess where they are after? Mm -hmm. Okay, well, you're correct with elephant, so just remember that. Tiger. Correct. Lion. Correct. Leopard. False. Cheetah. Incorrect. Hippo. Correct. Okay. Rhino? Nope. Okay, so we've got lion, tiger, hippo, elephant, right? Giraffe? Nope. Oh, yeah, and tiger. Wait, wait how many do I have? Lion, tiger, no. Four, I think. Lion, tiger, elephant. Lion, tiger, hippo, hippo. elephant. Okay. Water buffalo? It's weird because it's one of the big five for a game in Africa, but I've never been like super interested in water buffalo. So, bear. No, there's more marine life. Dolphin. That you can get. Correct. Shark. Nope. Whale. Yep. Okay. Okay. Turtle. No. Will I give you the last few? Give me a hint. Uh, there's another marine mammal. Uh. A bird. Sea otter, maybe? Uh, no, a bit bigger. Um, seal? Yep. There's a bird, you said? Mm-hmm. Uh, huffin? No. Penguin? Yeah. Uh, there's an ape and an ungulate Gorilla. left. Correct. And, uh, moose? No. Smaller. Surely not a deer, uh, let me think. Well, I, huh? elk, it says. Elk? That's on the top 10 list? Yeah, this is a weird list, man. Elk? Elk you can see, yeah. like, any day in this uh, area. That's funny. Well, this is from 180 different countries, so I think that's why but other, the results might other be surprising to us. don't know what elk are. Okay, here's, no, here's what I'm saying. Here's what I think. Elk and moose are actually commonly confused because the word for elk in Europe is moose. Or no, the other way around. The word for moose in Europe is elk. So maybe they mean moose, and I was right. Maybe. Like, I'm not even kidding. <laughs> it's it's really confusing. It's hard to say what people mean when they say elk. Because when people came okay. to the North America and they saw the elk for the first time, they were like, oh my god, it looks just like an elk. And then they saw that there were moose. They are like, oh no! <laughs> we already named the other <laughs> thing an elk. <laughs> Because okay. I would, I could see wanting to see a moose. I do not see wanting to see an elk, especially if you're from like some other place in the world where just elk are not that. They're just big deer, you know. But moose are crazy. Yeah, I agree with that. So, so maybe you don't want to guess all of them. Can you guess what number one is on the list? Is it a tiger? Yeah. Yeah. Forty-four countries a tiger. And I think lowest is elk. <laughs> is that true? No, oh, elk really? isn't lowest. There's two below elk. Elk is number eight. Okay, um, like the... I even forgot what we've had so far. Like the seal or something? No, seal is number six. Oh. Um, hippo? Uh, hippo is number two after tiger. Really? Who are these hippo fanatics out there? 28 <laughs> countries. Their top choice was a hippo. Why? That's so <laughs> I weird. Don't know. That's interesting. Last, uh, like, I don't know what could be last. Whale? No, no whale's are number four. People obsessed with whales. They're always going this, on whale This tours. is an animal that a lot of people are obsessed with, and you'd imagine it would be way higher, especially considering the tiger's number one. Lion? Yeah, lion's Oh, well, I agree with that. You know how I feel about lions. <laughs> you'd rather see an elk than a lion? <laughs> I'd rather see a moose, maybe. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> the look of your face, uh, your face of like total disgust. I'm just going to read them out because okay. I think it's probably confusing to remember where they all are. So lion was the top choice of four countries. I guess it's tied with elephant that was also the top choice of four countries. Elk was five countries at number eight. Seven is penguin. Six is seal. Five is gorilla. 
Four is whale, three is dolphin, two is hippo, one is tiger. Mm. Okay. Some of my students would have Which... said only white tigers. They only want to see white tigers in the wild. And if they if you show them a normal tiger, they'll be like, no, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like the other types of tigers. And and as my students would say, and they cannot swim. Right. And they eat like hay or something. <laughs> <laughs> They eat zebras and hay. They live in the savanna. Mm-hmm. Actually, tigers do live in the savanna, I learned. Because there is savanna habitat in uh, some parts. But No. Well, apologies. My mistake. <laughs> but I don't think that's what they meant, though. No, because anyway. they're... <laughs> Let's bash on some kids for not knowing things. Use that to jump into wild chat? Yes, please. So... You didn't seem too impressed with that list. I thought maybe we could try and put together our own list. Well, maybe choosing like f- five each. Now that I think that the elk is a moose, it makes more sense, and I think that would be on your list because you were like really wanting to see a moose when you were over here. Or that? Yeah. It's not on your top five though. Are you? Do you, do you want to choose one first? Okay. Are you going to be writing these down? Yeah, I'll type. I'll type it in the document. I guess. So uh, I want to see a tiger. Tiger, okay. Now your turn. I guess I'll say lion. Boo! <laughs> no lion. No! Stop putting lions Just down. Just watch The Lion King if you're so pressed to see a lion. Just watch The Jungle Book if you want to see a tiger. No, but in The Jungle Book, the tiger's a villain. Yeah. You know what's a really good movie about tigers? That movie Two Brothers. Oh my god, I saw that movie in theaters. It changed me. I was so sad. <laughs> You know that? I think I saw it in theaters you know as well, but I don't remember it that well. It has like these two little tiger babies, and then their yeah. mom gets killed, and then they're like raised together, and then, or, or they're like helping each other Have out. They split yeah, up. Then they, then they get split up, and one of them gets sent to like a circus or something, and the other one gets sent to Uh-oh. sit, made a pet, something like that. Oh my goodness. Yeah. That was so sad. I remember the scene where the tiger killed the dog. Oh, this is sad. Okay, choose another animal. Oh, okay. Um,. How about a whale shark? I want everyone to know that this is sort of arbitrary based on how I feel right now because I want to see lots of different animals and it's cruel to ask me to limit it to five. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not some... Well, this is just like a little game off the top of our head. It's not... I'm not some I'm not person gonna who's going gonna, gonna to be on these surveys and be like, I only have one animal I want to see and it's a hippo. That's not me, okay? <laughs> I, I'm not even going to put it up on the list. You can if you want. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't give it. Uh... Couldn't care less. <laughs> I feel like I'm just copying you, but I did at one point want to put Great White Shark on the list. Okay. For me, I would like to see a cheetah. Cool. A lot of cats on this list. You know I like cats more than anything. Cheetah. Okay, I'm going to say a green anaconda. Mm-hmm. I'm going to say maybe I'd like to see orangutans. Why not? Let's say an African elephant. Well, what do you have against Asian elephants? Well, I'd rather see the bigger of the two. But Asian elephants have way cuter ears. Just saying. No, African elephants have way They have Asian ears. elephants have those tiny little ears. Okay. I don't want tiny ears. <laughs> I want big, huge, flappy ears. Um, what else am I interested in? I keep thinking of, like, Australia, but honestly, there's nothing in Australia that I really want to see. It's more just, like, as a collective. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not super excited to see a koala, of it. I'm excited about the fact that Australia has so many things that are interesting. And if I were to choose one, it would just be rude to the other ones. I mean, I'd like to see a thylacine. Uh, can I put that? <laughs> no, that would be for a cryptid list someday okay um i need to think about different animals now Ooh, a snow leopard that's like snow that's leopard. like the holy grail for all wildlife viewing is a snow leopard one of the hardest animals to see in the wild so much so that there's been a book written about the philosophical uh and like the feeling of depression of trying to see a snow leopard I think this is with one more. Well, you reminded me, since you talked about Australia, say a saltwater crocodile. Okay. 
some honorable mentions. I was thinking about Komodo dragons. They're so fun. What else? Like harpy eagles. Gorillas would be nice. Yeah. But I like I like orangutans more maybe for this list because I feel like orangutans are really nice. Gorillas are a bit scary. Orangutans aren't that nice. Oh, I feel like I feel like they're just a happy family all together hanging out in the trees. They're not. <laughs> Um, I don't know, you can look into it. Imagine that. if I put down, like, duck or something. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if that was on the other list, like, number two, duck. Are they real? I want to see one. Crow. I wonder what the age range was. I don't know. It's interesting. Hmm. I want to see more okay, about the methods it? of this study. Yeah. Uh, do you want to try and rank? I don't know. I don't really care. You can just rank it. I mean, we can just leave it at that, I guess. I don't think anyone cares it. about... Well, maybe they care. I don't... Maybe you care a lot, but... I think it's enough to just know that these are some animals we want to see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we move on? Sure. I mean, if you really want... If it's a matter of pride, you can put lion up higher. A matter of pride. <laughs> 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 I would be lion if I didn't say that was a funny joke. Pretty, pretty good, right? Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Mm -hmm. Why are you such a tiger fan girl? Maybe it is that movie Two Brothers. <laughs> I just <laughs> <laughs> I just think it's like really I feel connected to like the Indian landscape where they are. I feel like it's a mysterious and lush place. I think that tigers are a really unique color scheme that you don't see in any other animal. I think oh i also had this really cool picture book when i was little about like a day in the life of a tiger and it had like really beautiful drawings and it's just all about like the artistic and the spiritual and all these feelings i feel when i think about tigers that i don't feel about lions i don't know does that make sense because like if you went on a tiger safari you could have like you could stay at a temple um you could like eat really good food and, like, I'm sure there's really good food in many different places in Africa where you can see lions. And there's probably, like, cool spiritual, religious experiences you can have, too. But it's just not as into the psyche, I think. Like, they have eat, pray, love. She never went to, like, she didn't go to um, Africa to pray. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So I just feel like tigers... That's an interesting answer. Tigers are very spiritual. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. I want to see a version of Eat, Pray, Love where she goes to India and she just gets, like, attacked by a tiger. <laughs> but she's okay and the tiger's okay. Just a little thing. Or maybe she, like, worships okay. the tiger. Hmm. I don't know why, but I'm just thinking about the saber-toothed tiger from 10,000 BC. Mm. That's a good but, one. like, wouldn't kill that. Yeah. That's... Didn't want to kill the man. That's very good scene. He domesticated the first cat. I don't think it was really it domesticated. Was domesticated. Though. I just decided not to eat him. Because <laughs> he saved it. He saved it from the trap. Yeah. It was probably eaten by the terror bird, though. Mm. Because in that movie, like, all the time periods and habitats are the same thing. Because they can walk through it in, like, one day. <laughs> yeah. And the timelines are all messed up. And then they'll go to Egypt and build the pyramids. Spoiler alert. If you haven't seen that movie. With the help of mammoths. <laughs> yeah. I don't care, though. I, li I like it anyway. <laughs> it's really good. I like the visual of mammoths, like, climbing up the pyramids. And has it been disproven and... that mammoths built the pyramids? No. Or has it? I don't know. Maybe it has. No mammoths found in well, Egypt. Well, it probably wouldn't be mammoths. It would be elephants. The mammoths would be dead from heat exhaustion. Yeah. Or at least no woolly mammoths. I don't know if there's other species there. Anyway, shall we move mm -hmm. on? Subscribe to the YouTube channel for full episodes or download the MP3 from the links below.